Today, in 1979, American Charles Chidsey received a patent for male baldness solution. You can see by this prime example here in front of you, it was a runaway success. Unsurprisingly, it wasn't the first supposed cure for baldness. Around 440 BC, Greek physician Hippocrates claimed that the cure lay in a heady mix of opium and horseradish and pigeon droppings. In ancient Rome, Julius Caesar hid his baldness with a, a laurel wreath. And in 19th century England, the solution was to regularly rub your scalp with lemon tea. I do that every night, but just because I like to smell nice. Likewise, history is packed with reasons as to why baldness should occur. Now, now some argue that baldness is a sign of virility. Others, that baldness occurs more in intelligent men as their scalp is overstimulated by intellectual thought. <laughs> some have even claimed that baldness in men is directly linked to their well above average frequency and super powered strength of ejaculation. I don't know if any one of these reasons could cause baldness. In my own case, I believe it's all three.